The 2020 Lincoln Aviator Reserve. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur and Lincoln in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as optional equipment that is available on the reserve trim of the 2020 Lincoln Aviator. So if you haven't had a chance to watch any of our videos, uh, we, we do a lot of these going over all the standard equipment first, talking about the different uh, packages that are available, and then standalone options at the end. So it's, they're very thorough videos, but a lot of people like them because if you're looking and researching what you want in a different type of vehicle, whether it be model trim they are very specific to that trim so you have a good idea what's going to come standard and what packages maybe you want on your vehicle when you go to that Lincoln dealership to get your vehicle or even get it here from Law MacArthur uh, easily have it delivered straight to your uh, door so this is a great video check the description down below I do have timestamps so if you need to move around or, or review something else back again you can do that by moving around in the video and we're gonna make this a little bit easy we're gonna go over all the standard equipment first with this blue aviator and then when we do talk about the 201A equipment group we're gonna bring in a red aviator and then when we get to that 202 equipment group we're gonna to get to the white aviator so if you move around the video you give a good idea where it's gonna be on that video so let's go ahead and get started on this I'd like to talk to say about safety first because if you're comparing this uh, to any other luxury brand, you kind of know what Lincoln has to protect your family versus some of the other brands. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is this, the airbag system. So personal safety system that really protects the occupants inside all the way around the vehicle. And the first one you're going to uh, think about this is going to have is sensors underneath those seats. To, so that way it knows how close the driver and front passenger are to the front of the vehicle because it will deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are for not only the driver but also the front passenger. Also knee airbag underneath that steering wheel as well as one in the glove box for the front passenger. So if you have that front collision it will protect those knees from that the dash up there. Also you're going to have seat belt pretensioners as well to help protect for that for those collisions. Uh, you're going to have all those of course these sensors to let you know if your seat belt is on or not. So you're going to have all that protection. Side impact air, airbag as well for the driver and front passenger to deploy from the side of those seats to protect you from those side collisions. Also the safety canopy airbag that deploys down from the roof line to protect everyone from any kind of rollover situation. Now this stuff does have advanced track with roll stability control. Uh, it'll help you keep you on your intended path so you hopefully don't have that rollover situation. Uh, so you are going to, you know, if it's slick driving or going to curve a little too fast, it'll help uh, use brakes around the vehicle to help keep you on that intended path and going around that curve safely without any kind of rollover situation. Now this does have SOS post crash alert system, so if you do get in an accident, you're off the road, it'll honk the horns and flash the lights so other people know they need to come to your safety, uh, as well as it has 911 assist. So if you're doing an accident, you have your Bluetooth enabled phone connected to the vehicle, you can call 911 directly instead of relying on those third party providers like uh, OnStar or something like that. So some great ways to really protect you completely around the vehicle. Let's talk about some ways to protect the kids back here as well. You do have the child safety locks. Most vehicles have this anymore. I do like to kind of cover it anyway that you can help lock those uh, rear seat and the rear doors out so that way they can't open them when you're going down the road. As well as the latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children allows you to put those uh, car seats uh, securely back into the back of those seats. Uh, again, that's another feature that most vehicles should have anymore, uh, but just kind of something I cover on my videos. I also want to talk about the standard equipment on this as part of the Copilot 360 60 uh, is going to be uh, the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it does have front sensing system so it alerts you know if you're coming up on somebody and they're stopped or going much slower than you and if you don't hit your brakes you're going to hit them. It lets you know that with a series of lights uh, and a, a message uh, on the dash there and letting you know that and uh, just as some tone so that you need to stop. And if you, do, if you don't stop, it will I'll go ahead and initiate the automatic emergency braking so it'll stop you in time. Uh, so there's some other features we're going to talk about that are some kind of safety features that we'll cover as we go around the vehicle, but uh, we'll cover some of those when we get to that, that point of it. These are some of the major safety features that I want to cover in this section. Now as we move to the front, I do want to talk about the, uh, the engine that's on this, the standard engine. Uh, but first I want to show you a feature that I think is a, a kind of a, a cool little feature that allows you to pop this hood and a little bit easier. Because a lot of times when you're popping the hood, you're looking underneath for the uh, you know, latch and everything. You don't have to worry about that on the aviator. So we'll just open this up. Just pull the latch down here twice. So you pull it once and then pull it again. And you'll see it kind of bumped up right there. That just allows you to be able to just come up then and just pop the and just pull the hood up. So there's no latch to worry about trying to find or anything to get to the engine. So a great engine. It is a twin turbocharged 3.0 liter V6 engine, only engine available in the aviator, delivers 400 
horsepower, 415 pound-feet of torque. So it does that with a 10-speed automatic transmission with select shift. Select shift means you can shift it like a manual transmission, shifting it up and down with the paddle shifters. Also comes with the auto start stop technology here. So great performance. Now all your rear wheel drives will come with four wheel independent suspension giving you a great ride. And all your all wheel drives and vehicles with 22 inch wheels, and we'll talk about options in just a little bit, uh, they're going to also get the adaptive suspension. So it's going to be even a little bit better suspension adapting to the road conditions and imperfections in the road. So great ride on both of those suspensions. Also you're going to have drive modes. Even the rear wheel drive uh, will have drive modes for conserve, a normal, slippery. Uh, you do have even an excite mode. And then when you go to the all-wheel drive, you'll also get the deep condition mode to allow you to do some serious off-roading if you want to in snow and that kind of thing as well. So a uh, great uh, system and how that all works uh, together there. <coughs> Now let's talk about the lane keeping system. Lane keeping system is standard equipment as part of that Copilot 360 and it's going to help you keep you in your lane. So it does have three uh, features that go along with that. One of them is your driver alert that's going to alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel, uh, you're not paying attention. Also you do have your lane keeping aid system and alert system. An alert system means when you leave your lane it's going to vibrate the steering and let you know you've left your lane and the aid system will help keep you in your lane. So instead of just vibrating the steel, steering wheel, when you get to those lines, it's gonna use torque vectoring to bring you back into your lane. So great system that you have to activate and deactivate and can will work with your cruise or without your cruise control. So I uh, love the lane keeping system and how that works. Also, front sensing system up here, as well as the backup sensors, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. So if you're coming into those driveways, parking spaces, it alerts you and lets you know that you're getting too close to uh, something up there. Let's talk about these headlights for a second. All LEDs around the vehicle. So you have your LED low beams, their automatic feature, which means they're gonna come on automatically when it gets dark, turn off when it gets light. You're gonna also have the LED turn signal indicators, and you're gonna have the LED signature lighting that lights up underneath there. So I love how that works with the Lincoln Embrace. Uh, Lincoln Embrace is a feature when you walk up to the vehicle, it really embraces you to your Lincoln vehicle uh, using a series of LED lights around the vehicle as well as uh, inside the vehicle. One of them is the signature lighting that's going to light up and fade up on the front. You're going to also have LED backlighting in those door handles, uh, the welcome mat down on the floor on the ground beside the vehicle with the Lincoln Star in the middle. Uh, ambient lighting that lights up inside, even the LED tail lights on the back. So it really welcomes you to the vehicle. So you're going to have those uh, as that's signature lighting is going to be a great benefit to that as well. And signature lighting will be configured as your daytime running lights. So they'll come on, they'll stay on for you as well. You also have LED uh, high beams. High beams are part of the Copilot 360 feature that's standard equipment. So uh, just like your uh, low beams, so when it gets dark out, you're on that uh, light and you have the auto high beams activated, the auto high beams will come on. If someone approaches you or in the city lights, they'll turn off. So uh, some people really love that feature. Uh, so they'll, you can deactivate and deactivate that. Also, LED fog lights are gonna be also standard equipment on your reserve models. Uh, so again, all LEDs around there to really light everything up for you. Also, you're going to have the nice chrome grill up here. So Lincoln Star repeating with the uh, chrome surround. And you do have the nice chrome Lincoln emblem up there. 360 degree camera. So there'll be a camera under that front emblem as well as on the side mirrors and on the back. So that way you can see all the way around the vehicle. That's standard equipment on all your reserves. So a split screen view. You can see all the way around your uh, vehicle on one side. And then on the other side of that screen is going to be your front or backup camera. You can hit the uh, little camera button there on the screen and it'll give you the full front or backup camera as well. So you're not just dedicated to that 360 uh, view there. So great uh, look and the design up here. Nice chrome accent down there. Active grill shutters as well. They're going to open those shutters and shut them depending on your speed. So you're on the highway. Shuts up those grill shutters, give you a little more aerodynamics. When you're going slower in the city, it's going to open them up, allow for more airflow to, for this EcoBoost engine to be able to perform a little bit better. So um, actually not EcoBoost, the uh, twin turbocharged engine uh, that Lincoln has on this. Also up here, you do have the Vizio wipers. That is a new feature for the Lincoln lineup. Uh, that allows you, if you need to turn the washers on, instead of the washers being down here and spraying up onto the windshield, they're actually in the wipers themselves. So you have an individual uh, a water line going to each one of those uh, wiper blades, and it's gonna go ahead and have those, uh, the, it just goes right in front of the wiper blade. So it's gonna push it right in front of where you're gonna wipe. 
so you don't waste a lot of water and it doesn't go up onto your moon roof and up over your vehicle and everything. So uh, Vizio wipers, standard equipment, as well as rain sensing wipers. So they're going to be able to be activated. You turn that on, uh, then when you have one of your wipers on the intermittent settings, when it starts to rain, it's going to automatically turn the wipers on. Rains a little harder, it's going to wipe even faster. You don't have to adjust it as long as you have one of those intermittent settings. Acoustic and laminated glass as well on the windshield as well as the side windows, not only the drivers, but also the second row, makes it much quieter inside, which is why uh, Lincoln is really embracing this quiet flight as their theme for their Lincoln vehicles because it's going to have a great drive. It's based off the airplane design. You'll see that when we get to the inside, but also making it quiet inside uh, so you can have a conversation even for those in the third row seat back there. So as we move around to the side, let's talk about the standard wheel. Now this wheel is standard on your 200 or 201A equipment groups. It is a 20 inch ultra bright machine face aluminum wheel with your ebony painted pockets. So a beautiful wheel that is going to be standard equipment. We'll talk about optional wheels. We kind of, you know, kind of poked at a little bit earlier when we talked about the 22 inch wheels with that adaptive suspension. So you will have some options for some other wheels, especially with your all wheel drive uh, versions there. You do have the nice uh, uh, nameplate here on the side. We did see that with the Continental, Navigator, uh, some of those other vehicles, and now of course the Aviator 2 and nice chrome lettering with the chrome accent underneath there. And then uh, also your mirrors does have a high gloss black mirror face up here. It kind of blends with uh, the, uh, the pillars up here. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, body colored underneath there and turn signal indicator going through there as well that's LED uh, for you. Power heated glass as well. Uh, it does have also the auto dimming driver side view mirror so as cars will pass you with those bright lights it's going to dim those mirror that driver side mirror for you. And this does have your bliss system that blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. The way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the side of that mirror, the side they're coming from, puts a message on the dash showing if they're coming from the left or the right, in a series of tones, and it's not safe to back up. So love the bliss and cross traffic alert. You also notice the mirror is folded in. It does have the auto fold mirrors on your reserve models. Uh, so pretty easy to, to use. It's going to, when you lock the vehicle up, it'll fold those mirrors into place. Uh, and let's go ahead and talk about that. Intelligent access with push button uh, start, which means you don't have to get the keys out of your pocket. You just walk up and uh, you don't put your hands just in the door handle. There is a little lever in there. This is exactly like the Continental has on theirs. So when you press that lever, it's gonna unlock it and it's gonna pop the door and release it for you. So then you don't have to open it. So uh, real nice and easy to be able to get into. It does have the keypad here on the pillar. So if you wanna be able to leave the keys inside or access the vehicle without the keys, you can set your own special code and get in and out of the vehicle. Of course, then when you do shut the door, that mirror is going to fold out into place and have it ready to go for you. When you are ready to get out of the vehicle and lock it, you just press the red lock button there and it's going to lock the vehicle up and auto fold that mirror back into place. So real nice. Don't have to get the keys out of your pocket. But if you want to, let me show you the remote here for you. It does have a keyless entry remote with remote start. So remote start is going to be on there. Your unlock and lock button as well. Uh, power lift gate if you want to use it for that. And then if for some reason the, the vehicle is dead, you need to pop the hood. Uh, since it does have the intelligent access, you will have to uh, take the key. Uh, you just push the button under here, take the key out from the remote, and then use this square hole right here. And that's where you put that key in to release the door so you can get in, pop the hood, and go ahead and get the vehicle jumped. Uh, so in case that might happen, that's how you would go ahead and access that. Uh, that, uh, that feature for you. Uh, so it, it does have a way to get in, in their fail safe system for you. Uh, so there's also a lever on the inside too if the, if the battery's dead and you want to get out for you to be able to do the same thing. So uh, beautiful design here. I love this. It does have the uh, high gloss black finish on these pillars uh, here all across here giving that floating roof line design that Lincoln's wanted to go with. Uh, and a nice chrome accent on the lower belt line. It's a little bit thicker than that that goes up over the, the windows there. And then body color door handles, chrome accent there, right above that molding on the bottom that sits on there on the lower uh, cladding. Uh, that's really to protect it from any kind of rocks and such. That's why you see that on the wheels, uh, around the wheels as well, to kind of protect them from any kind of rocks that you might get uh, on the vehicle, especially if you live on those dirt roads. So real nice look here. Privacy glass in these back windows and back glass. Just keeps it a little bit cooler for those inside. Also gives them some privacy too. And just a real great look to it as well with the, that black uh, tent there. And then it does have the easy fuel capless filler door. 
real easy. You don't have a cap to worry about leaving, getting your hands dirty or anything like that. You just put the nozzle in there and it, uh, fill it up. When you're done, you just uh, take it out and you shut it. You don't have to worry about anybody getting in there. I've had some people comment about that. It does have a double door system there. So the nozzle has to be perfect size for that, which is the exact size you get at the fuel pumps. Um, even if you have a can that you want to try to put in there, it will not fit. They're actually a little bit smaller. And so you would actually have to use the funnel that's provided with the vehicle to be able to go ahead and fill it up if you run out of gas that way. So great look, great design here on the side of it. Let's continue to the back. Now as we move to the back, back here you're going to have a body colored rear spoiler here on the top with a uh, high gloss black finish underneath, center high mounted stoplight up here, and your rear wiper will come down from that uh, spoiler up here. So I'm glad they went to that instead of having it placed here in the back glass. Rear defrost back here as well, and then you have your Lincoln Let chrome lettering on the back of the lift gate. LED tail lights as well as LED backup lights for you. So again, all LEDs throughout the vehicle. Nice chrome accent here above or right below those uh, tail lights. Rear view camera does have a washer back here along with the front one. I didn't mention that earlier. Keep that free from any kind of dirt or anything that might collect back there. Does have the chrome accent here uh, just below the on the middle part of the bumper with the reflectors. And then the molded in black back here that protects it from any kind of rocks that might get kicked up with your reverse sensing. Uh, across there as well uh, down there. Now if this does have, we'll talk about optional equipment a little bit, but uh, that we'll have a tow package possibly as optional equipment for you, but you can still use the power lift gate uh, using the remote. You can also use the button under here and you can use your foot. So foot activated, so you just uh, give it a kick under here and uh, hands-free foot activated. Let me go ahead and I think it's, it was, wasn't locked, there we go. And then go ahead and use your foot and then it'll open up for you. Uh, so just get your foot under there to straight kick in the middle. Uh, if there is a hitch, just go left to the right of that hitch if you have that as optional equipment. Now in here, uh, it does have the floor mats. It's uh, standard equipment. We always put them back here. They'll go in the foot wells in the front seat as well as the foot wells in the second row seat for you. Now in the here, don't forget, it does have a rear independent suspension. You're going to have a great ride, but a little more room for those in the third row seat. And I like the flat load level in here. They give you a little compartment to go over the rear cargo area instead of like an Explorer where it kind of went down in. Uh, you don't have that with this flat load level in here, and then you can uh, flip this open and then get access. So this door can come off if you want to, if you uh, just want it open. Uh, having that in the flat load level kind of is nice a nice feature to have, as well as putting belongings down here and having that cover so people People can't see the different belongings you have in there it comes in real handy as well and then you'll see a handle inside here uh, for that and that's where you fold that up and that's where you're going to get access to the spare tire in there uh, so you can have that spare when you need it even on the hybrid models again this isn't this video isn't toward um, that we're not going to talk about the grand touring much but even on those you'll have a spare tire most of your hybrids you do not get that so you just put that back in there and put it back into place for you and then it'll go ahead and, and stay right there. And then uh, also in there, having being able to store things in there is uh, nice and handy, as I mentioned already. Uh, little hooks over here on both sides, as well as these little hooks that kind of flip down, allow you to put a rear cargo net in there if you order that as optional equipment or accessories, which we'll talk a little more about later. Uh, there is a power point back here too, so you can power different devices. If you're you know out camping or something like that, you can do that as well. And then the third row seats. Let's talk about that. The headrests are down. We're going to flip those up. They'll manually, you'll have to pull them back up um, manually. They will not come up. And these little straps down here will lower just the headrest down. So if you're sitting there, you want the headrest down, you're just going to flip the headrest and they're going to go down. But I want to leave them up for a demonstration here because third row seat is power fold. So it does seat two back here in the third row. So you can go left, right, or both. We're going to hit both of those so you can see that. Uh, when you do hit that, it's going to go ahead and flip the headrest down first and then lower the backrest down flat to the, uh, give you a flat load level in there. So that's a great convenient to have. As you can tell, there is a lat system for the third row seat as well. I meant earlier mentioned just the second row. Uh, you will have that with that. So we'll go ahead and hit this button again and it'll bring it back up into position. So again, great convenience for you. And then manually putting those headrests back into position if you want those uh, up for you. Uh, sometimes most people will leave them down so they can see over the third row seat a little bit easier. And then just flip them up when somebody and kids want to sit in those. 
uh, seats right there. So I love that. Also, lastly, before we move inside, I'll talk about the uh, cargo, uh, this, the lift gate here itself. It can be adjusted to what height it stops when it opens up. You can, if you're a little bit shorter and you want to be able to use these buttons, you can move it down, press and hold, and it'll hold it to that. It'll go up to that position and stop instead of going all the way up. Now, keep in mind, you can use your foot to close the lift gate as well as the remote uh, to flip it, to, to close it as well. And unlike in these, you do have a, a lock button as well. And the convenience of that is normally you would we'd shut your lift gate and then the vehicle wouldn't be locked and you have to use your remote to lock it. Now you can lock it from the inside and then you go ahead and shut it and it'll shut it itself. So uh, convenience on that is a great uh, having to be able to do that and then the adjustable lift gate as well to be able to do that. So as you can see now it locked it. You can see those mirrors folded in means the vehicle is locked as well. Now as I talk about the interior, first thing I want to do is I want to give you a clip of the dash to start with because this thing, this is beautiful in here just to sit and look at it. Uh, quiet flight is their theme and you can kind of see that with the, the way the interior just uh, is flowing here across the dash and it gives it like an airplane wing feel here uh, and you really get that across here as you, as you look at some of the high gloss finish in between those vents uh, throughout there and then a nice wood trim back behind the dash and kind of how it just splits that together and gives you that nice look there. Uh, just love the design here, on, of course, on the dash. Now, let's talk about the different color interiors that you have uh, available for you. On the reserve, you have four different color options for your interior. You have your ebony. Traditionally, you see that with a lot of your vehicles. You're going to have your ebony finish uh, throughout it. So, you know, your dash and the coin across there, you're going to see when we showed that clip that you had some lighter tan and dark brown. Uh, that's gonna, the ebony, it's going to be all the same color there, even on your doors and your seats as well. Uh, when you go, and also the wood trim on that back behind that you can see you go across the dash as well as on around your climate controls is going to be a, a Santos Rosewood open pour wood trim for you. Now when you go to the uh, option for the sandstone, this uh, interior on this particular vehicle is that sandstone interior, uh, you're going to see the dark and lighter tan combination, the two-tone there uh, going to effect. So across the, the dash and the lower part of the, con the front dash, you're going to see that dark brown. Also some areas uh, mostly on the doors is going to be that dark brown. And then you're going to get that sandstone finish uh, in your door inserts as well as across the dash, the middle of the, the, the airbag cover for your steering wheel uh, as well as your seats and even some, some spots here on the console itself. So great look to it, so a nice two-tone look. Uh, also the wood trim on this is going to be the espresso ash swirl open pour wood finish. I love the open pour because you can really feel that wood grain in there and it just gives it a better tactile experience here. You can also get a, a slate interior. That's your gray interior. So you have darker gray and lighter gray. So with this one where that brown would be, the dark brown, you're going to have that darker gray interior and then the sandstone finish would be your lighter gray interior. So that's how it's going to work with that one as well. And then your the finish on the, the appliques across the dash and around your, con your um, climate controls is going to be a linear brush aluminum trim. So if you're wanting a more of an aluminum trim, you don't like the wood trim, that would be the color interior you're going to want to go with because uh, it's going to have that. There is one other option where you can get that the same trim appliques as well. And that's going to be that roast. So let's talk about that one. It's going to be kind of an ebony uh, accents around there where you see the dark browns. So you're going to have a two-tone there. And then you're going to also have your darker brown uh, finish for those, uh, the, the trim as well as your seats uh, there. And then for the finish on your appliques, you have two options. The standard equipment is going to be that Santos Rosewood like you'd see on your ebony. So the ebony environment applique kind of go together there. And then you do have this optional equipment, that linear um, brushed aluminum trim as well. So there's two different ways to get that aluminum trim with the roast or with that slate interior. So those are four options for you. So hopefully you'll have something there that you'll really like and you can choose from for the uh, your Lincoln Aviator. Now let's talk about these seats for a second. They are premium leather, so you get upgraded when you go from the standard to the reserves, and you're going to have the perforations in those seats, so real nice look to those. Uh, you also get heated and ventilated front seats for the driver and front passenger, and you're going to also have a 10-way uh, power 
uh, adjustable seats here. So you know, control your seat cushion, your seat back, as well as your lumbar for the driver and front passenger. You also get driver memory for three different drivers uh, that will control your mirror, your seat, and your steering wheel. So we'll talk more about that when we get to that part of the video. Talk about the second row back there. You're going to have the bucket seats back there. Uh, I believe those are heated seats for the, the uh, second row seats. They're going to always be buckets for those. And then you do have the, the mini console right there as well in between those. I uh, do have some uh, controls for those seats. They will slide forward and back for that second row seat. And you do have a power tip and slide. So it's a button on top of that seat. Now just, you press that button, it's gonna power release it and let it slide forward, keeping that seat in the same position. So you can put those car seats in there and you don't have to worry, but you can, they can still get into the back seat and it'll tip and slide that, for, that seat, leaving the car seat positioned in there into that latch system. So uh, that's a great uh, system there. Behind the console, you're gonna see a beautiful 5.8 inch LCD uh, screen back here to control your climate control uh, for those in the second row seat. Dual, dual zone climate for the second row seat as well. So a quad, a quad zone system for the aviator. So the driver and front passenger gets a dual zone climate, but so does the second row seat as well. So a, a quad zone, we haven't seen that in any of the Lincoln uh, products. Uh, now you have it on this uh, particular vehicle. So you can control that behind that console right there. And then third row seat, seats two back there. So you're gonna be able to seat six in the reserve uh, models. And uh, we'll get into optional equipment. We'll look and see if uh, second or the bench seat is going to be available as optional equipment uh, when we get to the optional equipment features. So that's a uh, configuration for the seats throughout the vehicle. Now let's talk about the door here. Uh, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those windows. So go down automatically for you. And then you can control your mirror, your power mirror features uh, within this as well. And driver memory is on the door over here. Now also let's talk about the uh, steering wheel, leather wrap steering wheel here for you and it does have a power tilt and telescoping so that control is right here to the left. Back behind it'll go electronically up and down forward and back and this does have easy, in easy entry and exit seat that's controlled with your driver memory so when you get out of the vehicle and shut it off the seat's going to go back the steering wheel up out of place like it is right now with the vehicle turned off. And then when you turn that vehicle on, uh, it's gonna move the steering wheel and the seat and the mirror is the position of the last driver. And if that wasn't you, you just hit your memorized uh, button there and it's gonna adjust everything on the fly for you. So now look at the, uh, con the, uh, the controls on the steering wheel itself. I love it. You can't see anything. You can't see any of the, the, in the emblems or the words or what anything stands for for the toggle switches. Uh, it does it a lot like what they've been doing for the climate control and now on the steering wheel. And I love that it uses LED backlighting to light everything up and only it lights it up if it's turned on. So when the cruise controls, like I was trying to read the words and I couldn't read them because the cruise control is turned off. Once you turn that cruise control on, you can see all the controls for your climate control and the buttons are back right positioned right back behind those to be able to control those. So you can do that with your fingertips right here uh, pretty easily. And then two toggle switches up here in the left and the right to control different things on your productivity screen, which I wanna talk about next. 12.3 inch, LCD productivity screen. We've been seeing this in the Nautilus and uh, some of the other vehicles, the Navigator. And uh, so just a very impactful uh, screen there that you can see easily. Uh, what I really love is when you change from the different drive modes, it will change what those, that's going to look like. If you're in the normal and conserved mode, you're going to see one speedometer in the middle. But if you go to the excite mode or if you're all-wheel drive and you go in those deep conditions, then it's going to give you a tachometer as well. So it'll give you a dual screen there. And you can leave it if you want some information like your trip and such like that. You can set it up that way or you can set it in the calm mode and that doesn't show a lot of features in there and just more of a calming look to it uh, for a calming uh, drive as well. So I think you'll appreciate that too. There is a button up here on the steering wheel. I didn't overlook that. I want to talk about it now. That is where you would go ahead and hit your that button there for it to control and speak to the SYNC 3 system, being able to make and receive phone calls, uh, control your navigation, some other uh, features just by pressing the button. And I like how it's located right where your thumb would be easy to get to right there. Push button start is positioned just to the left of your screen over here, so you can uh, start your vehicle right there. And it does have the piano style keys here like we did see on the uh, Navigator, and they brought it over to this. So you notice the park and the neutral are smooth, and then your reverse and drive have kind of a ridged feel to them. So you can easily be able to control it without looking at those uh, just by being able to have that feel right there and uh, just a great uh, look and uh, definition there. We did see that on the Navigator. We were hoping they would bring it to the Aviator and they have. 
for the climate controls. Again, LED backlighting, so when you have the vehicle turned off, you can't see the words or the emblems. Uh, when you turn it on, it's gonna light everything up so you can see those easily, and you don't have to worry about any words wearing off over time because it's, they're not painted onto those buttons right there. So dual zone climate, again, we talked about for the driver and front passenger up here, and then your radio controls are right there as well, uh, easy to get to. Now let's talk about the screen up here. It's a 10 point, uh, one inch, I believe, uh, screen. Uh, for uh, these, this, uh, the Sync 3 system, so real nice, impactful look. I love the, the LCD screen, it just, it's very, I know when I put it into the 360 degree camera, it's a very dynamic and just very clear look to it, so a very impactful uh, screen. And you're gonna also get navigation as standard equipment on the uh, reserve, and you're gonna be able to control your audio, your climate, navigation, all through this, touch screen navig with the navigation, pinch to zoom, everything like that. Uh, your backup camera is going to come into view there. Also have the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well as standard equipment uh, as part of the uh, Sync 3. Uh, just uh, just great look to it. And the audio system is a 14 speaker Revel audio sound system. So very uh, good sound system. We'll show you some options later that you can get. Uh, you can upgrade more speakers as well to the premium Revel system uh, and, and when we get to that. But a very good sound with 14 speakers, uh, quite a few speakers. So it really starts off with a nice premium Revel audio sound system to start with. The rear view mirror up here is the uh, edge to edge a rear view mirror, so a real nice look to it. Uh, it does have auto dimming feature as well, so if those cars come up behind you with those bright lights, it will dim that rear view mirror up here. On the visor, you're gonna have garage door openers for three different garage doors, so you can program transmitters, garage doors to those buttons, so you don't have to have that garage door clipped, opener clipped up here and it fall in your lap when you that sun's in front of you, you need to flip that down. Uh, you can put the garage door opener away and just program these uh, universal garage door opener for that. The overhead console it does have a sunglass bin, so you just press that chrome button, you can flip down, put sunglasses in there or any small item you want to stow away up there. And then you do have controls up here for your lights. I love how it lights up blue when the vehicle is, is turned on and you don't have the lights on, so you can see that easily and be able to turn those interior lights on uh, there, so just a great look uh, there as well. And then, um, let's see, what else? Uh, there's a lot of other features. Let's talk about the console now. Uh, these do uh, doors slide open, like we did see with the Continental. So you can slide the left side, and you have an open compartment. Uh, you can notice the Lincoln Star is uh, repeating there. You do have a USB port in there, as well as a USB Type-C uh, to be able to charge different devices that way. Uh, in here, and you can, a uh, big enough area, maybe put cell phone in there, whatever you might uh, want there. And then uh, this, uh, the right side uh, slides open for your cup holders, and there is a little compartment up there for maybe coins or something like that. And again, it does have a, uh, a little finish, a grip underneath at the bottom of that as well, as well as your cup holders. Ambient lighting, the lights up your cup holders, the foot wells, and your door handles, so you can see those easily. When you have the doors open, it's gonna light up red. Otherwise, it's gonna light up to the different colors that you have as options in your screen. Um, also, you do have your drive mode switches right here as well, so you can control that easily right at your fingertips. And it does have your park button right there too, uh, easily easy to get to right there. Now, also, I want to talk about the personal profile. So that's something I don't want to overlook. I almost did forget about it. Um, personal profiles allow you to set up some uh, profiles for each driver. And you do use these driver memory to control those, but you set it up in your screen. So not only is it going to control your mirrors, your seat, and your steering wheel, but also your audio control your climate control preferences for that driver and even the driver assist features which I think is the probably the biggest one if you have someone that likes to have the auto high beams activated and maybe some uh, driver alert deactivated then and the other person gets in the drive and they want it a different way then you can set up your own personal profile so you don't have to adjust those when you get in and start the vehicle it knows by your key fob and by hitting your driver um, uh, settings there it knows what to adjust all those features for so personal profiles Great addition for the Lincoln. I think Navigator was the first vehicle they had the profiles in, and they're rolling it out through all their models. It's included in the Aviator as well. Talk about the console itself. Nice wide console. Uh, you open that up. You can see there's a tray in there for smaller items. Also a deeper well to put bigger items in there. You, there's a PowerPoint in there as well. And so some great features in there. We'll talk about some different optional equipment that's gonna be included into this console here in just a little bit when we get to some other features. Uh, so throughout the vehicle, I think uh, I think I covered everything. A Lincoln Connect, standard equipment as well. So Lincoln Connect allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Lincoln Way app. So it's a free app you download. And then that way you can go ahead and uh, be able to set up, you know, remote start from anywhere, unlock and lock your vehicle. Uh, you can schedule remote start times. You can find your vehicle. 
uh, do service through there, and that's uh, where your link and rewards points are going to be uh, calculated in the app. So you can go ahead and schedule services through the app and see what kind of rewards you have. When you buy every Lincoln vehicle from here on out, uh, you're going to get Lincoln uh, rewards uh, points, and with that, you're going to be able to get free oil changes and different other features that you can spend, uh, you know, getting other accessories for your vehicle and that kind of thing. So kind of like rewards points like you would see at Starbucks or some of those other places for your Lincoln vehicle as well. So, And then also the enhanced... Um, the enhanced security package is also standard equipment on your reserve. That allows you to be able to have a lockable compartment. You can have a valet key mode, uh, you know, those lockable storages, and you have the parameter sensing as well, the inclination. So if somebody tries to get in the vehicle, it's going to set that alarm off. So that's also included as standard equipment on all your reserves. So we did bring in our red carpet uh, tinted metallic uh, aviator. So we are moving on to the 201A equipment group. Now that blue one didn't have the 201A equipment group, so I did include and, and talk a couple things uh, probably mentioned uh, as part of that. So this package does upgrade, gives you some things that are a couple packages that are included with this 201A equipment group that are standalone options on the 200A, and we'll get into optional equipment in just a little bit. But I want to cover this 201A package. Uh, this is, the, we're calling it the Reserve One package. So uh, this includes uh, one of the first packs I'm going to talk about is the Elements Package Plus is what they're calling it. And that's going to upgrade and give you some heated features in the vehicle as well as on the outside of the vehicle. So first off, I did mention earlier that the front seats, I think I might have mentioned heated and ventilated. Uh, they're just heated uh, as, for the first as well as the second row seats on the 200A. Nothing wrong with that. But when you go to the 201A equipment group, you get heated and ventilated for the driver, front passenger, and second row seats. And we haven't seen that ventilated second row seats in too many vehicles in the Lincoln lineup. We did see it with the MKT when you go to the reserve with that elite package. Uh, now for the, uh, the Aviator is gonna have that as well as part of this 201A equipment group, I, I think. And even the Continental, I think you had to get the rear seat amenities package to get the, the cooled seats uh, for the back seats. Uh, Aviator is gonna be part of this package, as well as the heated steering wheel. So you can heat up that steering wheel. Uh, the seats as well as the steering wheel will be included with your any remote settings you might have. Uh, so when you have in the auto setting, it's going to go ahead and turn the, the heated steering wheel on as well. I uh, love that feature. Uh, comes in real handy in the wintertime. As well as now the heated uh, Visio Blade wipers. So we did have the Visio Blade wipers, standard equipment on 200A. Now they're heated. So a little bit different than the windshield wiper de icers that we've been seeing. It's actually going to heat those wipers up. So that way, uh, none of that, the water uh, that gets melted on the windshield is going to freeze up those wipers. They're going to be heated so they'll be functional when you're in those cold weather situations. So this package is included in 201A, plus another one we're going to talk about next. Another package that's going to be included in that 201A equipment group is your Copilot 360 Assist Plus. Now this package includes a, a lot of great safety features and convenience features and one of them is your new Active Park Assist Plus system. So uh, this system is going to be a lot easier. It's a really upgraded new generation for your park assist. Not only it's going to take care of parallel parking but reverse perpendicular park and park out. And now instead of just controlling the steering, the system will control the steering, the shifting, as well as the brake and the, uh, the gas. So it controls everything. All you have to do is press and hold the button and it's gonna go ahead and do everything for you. So if you haven't had a chance, I haven't done a video on the Aviator yet with this system, but I have on the Explorer. It has the same system on the Ford Explorer, so I'll try to link down in the description the video for, link for that, so you can check that out outside as well as an inside perspective on how that system works flawlessly. I think you'll really like it. Also, this does have the new uh, act, the adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist. So that means it's gonna give you not only the adaptive cruise control with stop and go, so if you don't know what adaptive cruise is, that's where you're gonna have that cruise set. You can set your gap, so if you come up behind someone, you're gonna slow down to go their speed, so that way you don't rear in them, you don't have to use your brakes so much, and it'll even bring you to a complete stop and get you going again when you pass them or they speed back up or if you're in that traffic jam type situation. Also, you're going to get traffic sign recognition with the system now, uh, which is pretty new for the uh, 2020s. Uh, so a great system. So what's great about it is that when you have your cruise set, uh, and you, it, it'll show you those speed signs, and you can ad adapt your cruise control based on the tolerance that you want for your, your speed limit. So if the speed limit is 70, you want I want to go 5 over, 75, you can set it to a tolerance plus 5. And when that speed limit sign changes, your speed will change along with it. So it adapts that cruise 
for those those signs for you as well so love that also it's going to get lane centering so a little different than the lane keeping system which keeps you in your lane and works without your cruise control this will be activated when you have your cruise set and it actually keeps you in the center of your lane so no longer having to worry about going to those lines but keep you in the center of your lane so great system also you're going to get evasive steering assist with this package so that it'll help you so if you're in that situation where stopping is not you're not going to be able to stop in time a car darts out maybe into your lane and you need to steer away to not to avoid that accident it's not going to do the steering for you or, or turn for you it's going to assist to make it easier to turn away so that it makes it a little bit more convenient to be able to, uh, to uh, keep from having that accident now that is also a feature you can activate and deactivate along with the, all these other features in this package so keep that in mind if you, that's something you don't quite know if you want to trust quite yet you can deactivate that also the reverse brake assist so that's a great feature a lot like your you know forward collision uh, when you're backing up it's going to sense and let you know there's someone behind you but if you don't hit your brakes and you're going to hit that maybe it's a bicycle or maybe even a, you know a, a person back there behind you it'll go ahead and give you that brake support to stop the vehicle in that case of that so great package that's going to be included uh, within this another one standalone option that's also going to be included with this package is going to be a standalone option on your 200a and that's your panoramic vista roof with the power sunshade so we've seen that on several of the vehicles uh, it'll be included from the 201a as well as the 202a uh, and give you the power glass or the power sunshade i'd say with the power moonroof that opens up too and this will also give you the global open and closed for the windows so this package will be included with that so uh, what's great about it is you can have if you have your vehicle um, unlocked or you can hit the unlock once and then hit it a second time and it'll go ahead and roll the windows down uh, so that way it kind of cools off the inside of it. So you'll notice it, it rolls down the front as well as the back windows. Uh, so that way, you know, if you're coming up uh, on it, maybe you're talking or something, and you know it's going to be hot inside the vehicle, you can go ahead and, and roll those windows down, get some of that hot air out before you actually enter into the vehicle. So also something that's going to be standard equipment for you on your Lincoln Aviator. So a uh, great package, uh, a great equipment group, the 201A equipment group. But now I'm going to bring in a white vehicle that has a 202A equipment group and go over some of the things that are standard on it. So now we have our white aviator in here. So we are going to start talking about that 202A equipment group. Uh, Lincoln is calling it uh, the Reserve 2 package. Uh, and it's going to include uh, some features that, you, that aren't available on the 200 or 201A, as well as a couple packages or standalone options on those. Now, one thing to keep in mind on the 202A equipment group is only available with your all-wheel drive. So it does require to have all-wheel drive. Uh, so you will have that adaptive suspension. Also, we'll have the standard wheel will be this 22 inch bright machine painted aluminum wheel with the ebony or the magnetic uh, painted pockets there. So the only way you can get this wheel is with the 202A equipment group. So keep that in mind as well. If you're wanting the 22s, all, of course, all wheel drive will be optional on the 200 or 201A, but will not have these wheels. So just uh, keep that in mind. So uh, you will have that adaptive suspension on all of your 202A equipment groups. Now, there are a couple packages uh, that are available on the 200 and 201A. Uh, I wanna talk about that are standalone options that are included with this. And the first one to talk about is your luxury package. So your luxury package standard equipment on the 202A equipment group is gonna give you some great interior features. And the first one is gonna be that 30-way perfect position seat. So I love that seating uh, configuration. You will have the power uh, individual thigh extenders, a left and a right. Also the power headrest. It's also gonna have the, I love the shoulder blade. I call it the shoulder blade adjustment because it's gonna take that top part of that seat and allow it to go forward and back as well. And I like that because I kind of like to lean a little bit, but I like the upper part of my shoulders to be positioned forward. So I like that position as well. And you're gonna have the active motion, which means the massaging seat features for you. And this is for the driver and front passenger. So 30, per, 30 way perfect position seat is gonna be included in the luxury package. Also, you're going to get the Revel Ultimate 3D audio sound system, new audio sound system for the Lincoln lineup, 28 speakers. Yes, you heard it right, 28 speakers with this vehicle. So complete sound uh, surround uh, technology. So you're gonna have that Quantum Logic uh, 3D surround sound technology to give you a great audio sound, uh, just like being there. And uh, it's just gonna just surround the entire vehicle. So you're gonna love that. 
Also, rear sunshade. Uh, we did see that in the MKT, previous MKT, as well as uh, available in that rear amenities package for the Continental. Uh, now it's going to be part of this package, uh, the 202A equipment group, as well as the luxury package. Uh, rear sunshade, you can bring those uh, on these rear doors back here. You can pull those up so the kids, if their sun's coming in, you want the privacy glass, but the sunshades will help block out any kind of sun, especially if you have kids back there sleeping. Like infants, you don't want them to wake up on that road trip, uh, go ahead and put the sunshade up and that will help uh, keep them asleep, hopefully uh, blocking out any of that sun coming through. So good luxury package. Uh, it's gonna be a standalone option on the 201A as we talk about that in a little bit, but is included within this package. Another package I want to talk about that's going to be standard equipment on the 202A equipment group and available on some other equipment groups, we'll talk about that in just a little bit, is your Class 4 trailer tow package. So this package is going to include, of course, your trailer four, or Class 4 trailer tow hitch and the wiring to go along with that, your 4-pin as well as 7-pin wiring. A real nice cover that's going to go over just like you're seeing with this here uh, that protects it so the way, you know, it looks real luxurious when you don't have, you're not using the hitch and then you can take it off. Also, it's going to come with trailer sway control and it's going to come with your smart trailer tow. Uh, that just allows you to be able to connect different trailers up and you can uh, uh, set that up so that your system knows the different trailers in there. Also, it's going to come with a 250 amp alternator as well. So it's going to upgrade that alternator for you. Since you're going to have wiring and such plugged in, they want to make sure you're good to go with a good alternator. Uh, so you'll, you'll upgrade upgraded with that alternator as well. And you're going to also, not only, you know, you have the Bliss with cross traffic alert, that's going to go ahead and monitor the blind spot of your vehicle. But when you have that trailer connected, it'll also monitor the blind spot of your trailer. Uh, you just have to activate that in your setting screen and it's going to go ahead and, and let you know about the blind spot there as well. So that comes in real handy when you're towing. So, you know, it's really hard to tell the distance uh, when you're towing a vehicle and that'll let you know that it's not safe for you to go ahead and move over to the left or right lane because there's someone in your blind spot. So this is a great package for you. Again, standard equipment on the 202A equipment group. Now here's one package that is not available at all on the 200 or 201A equipment group, only available in your Reserve 2, and that's your illumination package. So uh, the illumination package is gonna give you those adaptive pixel LED headlights. So, so much brighter headlights. And what's great about it is it gives you some great features like the dynamic bending uh, head, uh, lights there. So it's gonna going to light up your intended path and even go around those corners uh, for you and lighting that up. It's also gonna have the speed dependent lighting. What's great about that is if you're going a little bit faster, you're on the highway, it's gonna light out more further in front of you using all those LEDs and all the pixels. And then when you're going slower, it's going to bring that light in a little bit closer. Doesn't blind the people, you know, in the city streets and such, and it kinda adapts that for you as well. So speed dependent lighting, of course, Wiper activated lighting has always been standard equipment on all your Lincolns, but it's also uh, been included with the map. Also, your signature lighting, your LEDs. So now when you approach the vehicle with the Lincoln Embrace, that light is gonna fade up for you. So real nice how it fades up around there instead of just a turning on like it does with the 200 and 201A equipment group. Uh, so that's gonna be a great feature. Also, you're going to the, get the Lincoln Star is gonna light up as well. So very impactful uh, lighting uh, setup for that. So when you again approach with the Lincoln Embrace, it's going to use the fade up underneath the headlights as well as the Lincoln Star is gonna glow there for you. Again, only available in the 202A equipment group. So next what I want to do is talk about some, those packages we've already talked about. They're included in the 201A and 202A. We're going to talk about those packages and how you, they're going to be available for you in the other different equipment groups. So uh, first let's talk about that 200A. So 200A has two packages that are available as uh, options that you can get uh, that are going to be not included in the 200A but are available for you. One of them is that Elements Plus package. So the one that gets you the heated and ventilated seats for the driver front passenger in second row, heated steering wheel, the heated Vizio wiper blades, that is going to be available as optional equipment for you on the 200A. Also, your Class 4 trailer tow package gets you the hitch, the wiring, uh, the blind spot monitoring system for your trailer, uh, the, the upgraded alternator, all those features as part of that package are also available on the 200A as well. So both of those packages are available uh, as optional equipment for your 200A. So let's talk about the uh, packages that are available on your 201A equipment group. Of course, it's already going to include that Elements Plus package we just talked about that was optional on the 200A. But you're going to also have as uh, available option equipment for you is that Class 4 trailer tow package. Of course, this is going to be optional equipment for you just like in the 200A. 
it is going to be included in the 202A equipment group. Also that luxury package, luxury package that is standard equipment on the 202A is available as optional equipment on the 201A uh, only, so not available with the 200A. Now don't forget that's going to give you the perfect position seat, the 30-way with the, the multi-contoured with the active motion, the massaging seat features, get you the rear sunshade and that Revel Ultimate 3D audio sound system. So these two packages are available as optional equipment on your 201A equipment group. So now let's talk about some packages that are available as optional equipment for your 202A equipment group, not available on the 200 or 201A equipment group. And the first one to talk about, the most popular is your convenience package. So this is a great feature. This is going to give you your heads up display. So it's really cool uh, feature. It's kind of right there. It casts onto your windshield and you can move that up and down, left and right. You can even shift it uh, diagonal if you want to kind of move it uh, and get it just right. And it's going to show you your speed that you're going. Also show you all your navigation features on there and even show you your fuel economy and if you're getting low on fuel. So that way you can see it pop up with that amber light there on your windshield. So heads up display, really cool feature to order on this particular vehicle, part of that package. Also, you're gonna get the soft closure for your doors. So now let's say if you, uh, you know, open this door, you don't get it shut all the way, it's gonna go ahead and grab it and it's gonna secure it and bring it in towards the door like you did see on the Continental on their reserve package. Also inside, the wireless charging pad. Wireless charging pad, part of the convenience package. It's gonna go in that console towards the left side over there. Hopefully you get a good image of that. You know, it kind of holds that phone into position there. So all your phones that are, have wireless charging, most of your Android phones anymore, as well as some of your newer iPhones, I think eight and above are gonna have the wireless charging. Uh, so you plug that in there, you can just put that in position and it's gonna charge your phone while you're driving. So great feature. When you have your phone Bluetooth, you can still make and receive phone calls using it that way and even play music through your phone so uh, some of the great features of that and charging your phone while you're driving uh, also uh, late availability not sure if this vehicle has it on it because we have you do have to connect your phone to uh, using the, the modem and you don't do that until you purchase a vehicle and that's phone as a key so no longer do you have to have the key on you you can go ahead and set up through the Lincoln Way app connect your vehicle using the modem for your phone so when you walk up even just with your phone you're gonna be able to get in the vehicle like a key and start your vehicle up and not having to use your key and whatsoever so we always have our phones on us almost always charged up and with the wireless charging pad you're going to make sure of that uh, so a great way to use phone as a key again it's late availability not sure if it's even available on this vehicle until the owner you know, connects their vehicle up but that's going to be another great feature as part of this convenience package now here's the last package that is available only available on the 202a equipment group and that's your dynamic handling package so it's going to come with three great features first one is your adaptive steering so it's going to be able to help you adapt your steering especially in this parking lots make it a little bit easier to turn that steering wheel uh, on the highway stiffen it up so be able, be able to adapt that steering for the different drive modes that you have as well so give you more dynamic steering feel uh, in different situations like that excite uh, but in the normal mode it might be more conservative so you're going to have that adaptive uh, steering there you're going to also have the adaptive suspension now with road preview which means it's going to preview the road ahead of you and it's going to go ahead and be ready for that pothole you're about ready to approach before you get to it so a little bit better than the adaptive suspension you're going to get with your all-wheel drives as part of this package and then the air glide suspension system now with the and the easy the lower entry uh, level for you so it's going to adapt that suspension up and down uh, we did have one that was here with that system hopefully i get some clips from that video to show you because this one doesn't have that package on it but it will lower the suspension down make it a little bit easier to get in and out of the vehicle and then raise it up when you're ready to go and even have to where the back will come down just a little bit allowing for a little bit better aerodynamics on the highway and then when you're ready to go in that off-road mode with your all wheel drive you can bring that suspension up as well giving you a little more clearance so uh, that air glide suspension adaptive suspension is going to be part of this dynamic handling package so let's go ahead and talk about some standalone options now these are all you would order from the factory and it would be put on the vehicle for you uh, first one to talk about is your front license plate bracket now if you live in a state that requires a front tag it's going to be standard equipment uh, if you do uh, live in a state like kansas that doesn't require a front tag it will be optional equipment, standalone option on all of your equipment groups, uh, 200, 201A, and 202A. Uh, no charge option though for you, and the dealership will put it on free of charge as well. Also, the engine block heater. So if you're in one of those cold weather states and leave the vehicle outside, 
engine block heater is going to be available on any of your equipment groups. Uh, I think it's about a hundred dollar charge for that and they'll put it on at the factory for you so that way you can plug that in keeping it warm during the winter time and night so that come in real handy. Let's talk about the seating configuration. Standard equipment is the bucket seats with the mini console. You can get as optional equipment on any of your equipment groups. The bucket there the bench seat sorry the 35 30 35 bent seat in there so of course you wouldn't get the mini console but you would have that middle seat in there giving you seven occupants that can sit on the in the vehicle other than just six uh, from the standard equipment so that's available for you as optional equipment on again all your equipment groups now another thing you can get for if you have the bucket seats is you can get the full console and the full console is available and the 201 and 202A equipment groups are not available with the 200A uh, because it does give you the controls for the panoramic vista roof as well on the center console and two standard USB ports. So that's why it's only available on those two equipment groups. So that's available for you uh, as well back there. And the third thing, or uh, the fifth option I should say, that is available for you, only available on the 202A equipment group, and you would probably want to get this from the factory anyway, is the Lincoln Play. That's that rear seat entertainment with the nice big screen on those headrests. Uh, it's just going to go up there and make it handle a lot. Uh, you can do all kinds of different video formats on there. You can even plug in th uh, thumb drives with video on it. You can even plug in gaming systems. So much more, uh, so many things you can do with that. Even set up some uh, systems through different accounts that you might have, like Swing uh, and that, or uh, Slingshot, I should say, and some of those others uh, that you can use. Some online streaming uh, videos that you can use with it as well. So uh, that is, those are the options you would order from the factory. But let's talk about some different, um, maybe accessories you might order. Whether you could get those from the factory or you could get them from your local Lincoln dealer. Now let's talk about some accessories. You're going to, you can order these from the factory if you want to, and they'll be shipped to the dealership ahead of time, or you can just get it from your Lincoln dealer after you get your vehicle. First one to talk about is your all-weather mats. So you're going to get those carpeted mats we talked about. Uh, you can also get the all-weather mats. They go in the footwells in the front seat, as well as the footwells in the second row seats, uh, being able to keep those clean from any mud, rain, that kind of thing. Also for the rear cargo area, you can get a couple of different things. You can get a cargo area protector. Usually would have that third row seat down and it will protect the rear cargo area. Kind of, an, kind of really all weather mats for your rear cargo area that will go in there and protect it from anything like that. Also, you can get a cargo area protector or cover, I should say. So it's going to go up there and cover back there so people can't see the different belongings you have in there. If you have some bigger things that go on the rear cargo uh, area back there, that would be a great addition for you that you can order. Also, the locking lug kit. So you can get the locking lug nuts that are, go on these, especially a vehicle like this, which is a beautiful wheel. If you live uh, maybe in an area you just do not not sure about, you want those locking lug nuts. People can't, you don't have to worry about them taking your wheels. That's something you can add. A very low cost option. Uh, you give you a special uh, lug nut that would put on each of the four wheels and the wrench that would go with it uh, would be included as well. So those are your different accessories you can get. Again, you can order them from the factory and they'll ship ahead of time or from your Lincoln dealership after you get your vehicle. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment on your Lincoln Aviator Reserve. Very thorough video. We like to call it our complete guide for a reason. So hopefully we covered everything. But I did want to cover the warranties before we leave this video. And the factory warranties on your Lincoln vehicles is a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty. Uh, so great warranty. Also, you get a six-year, 70,000-mile powertrain warranty as well. So great ways to protect your Lincoln vehicle for a long period of time. Uh, again, you can go really almost maintenance-free that way. Also, you can have pickup and delivery. That means you'll pick up your vehicle for service, leave you a Lincoln loaner for the day, service your vehicle, and bring it back to you. And that's a four-year, 50,000 miles as well. And if you maybe don't live outside of the 30-mile radius for that, you can bring your vehicle in. They'll still give you a Lincoln loaner, so you can go to lunch, grab some errands, come back and pick up your vehicle as well. And it will include a car wash, a free car wash as well, for every time you bring your vehicle in for service. So some great features that you're going to get on all your Lincoln vehicles uh, with some great Lincoln warranties. Uh, pickup and delivery is a great service as well. Now check out our inventory at our website, lawnmacarthurlincoln.com. They're on each one of our vehicles. You can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures, even a VR experience on every single one of our vehicles. You have uh, payments there as well as lease payments. So check that out on our website. Again, lawnmacarthurlincoln.com. If you have any questions, you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316. 
Thanks for watching this, our, our video on YouTube, and we do have a special offer. Hopefully, you did see it at the beginning of the video, and that's uh, free shipping to any one of our Lincoln vehicles to your door. Uh, we just uh, ask you to uh, look for us for your financing, and right now, Lincoln has a 0% on a lot of their vehicles, and we do ask that you live within the 48 states. I'll ask them why it gets a little pricey, uh, but we will ship uh, for free up to about $1,000, uh, and uh, no hidden charges there, so uh, take advantage of that. If you're wanting to get a, a Lincoln vehicle from a dealership that knows their product, it's going to make sure you get the the correct vehicle order the way you want it to delivered right to your door don't forget you can contact us you can call or send us a text message 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316 so we have some great coordinators who know a lot about these lincoln vehicles as well as dedicated lincoln sales representatives know their lincoln products inside and out that can help you out as well so definitely take advantage of that offer and if first time watching one of our videos hit that red subscribe button down below that way you can subscribe to our youtube channel with some great ford lincoln and off-road inventory videos and uh, walk around videos uh, so definitely take advantage of that and go ahead and hit the notification bell that way you get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our youtube channel with some great content we're uploading things uh, weekly so definitely want to uh, hit that notification bell so you can get notified the next time we have another video uploaded also go ahead and smash that like button let's other people know it's a great video uh, that they need to watch I'd appreciate it helps out the video and the channel uh, and uh, just a great way to go ahead and interact with us as well and go ahead and put those comments down below as well what do you think about this any packages you were surprised about or some things you wish were included in other different equipment groups I love getting the comments down below or anything I need to, to maybe work on for the future I love getting that information that's how we can make these videos better and better each and every time with your feedback down below so thanks again for watching this video don't forget you can find us on social media on, we're on Facebook and Twitter as well as on Instagram uh, at Law MacArthur on any of those different forums down there and if you're looking for me I'm also I'm at Tim Bartz on Twitter so definitely follow me there and uh, you can always see what's going on not only here at the dealership but as well as some of the other things that uh, we have to offer here and some things that I post there on Twitter so again thanks for watching this video hopefully you really liked it and until the next one we'll see you later